Greetings humans. In this freestyle video, we're going to um, continue from the last Twilio video that I made. We're going to extend our um, IVR system to have a couple of questions after our greeting. So the first thing we want to do is navigate over to Studio. And let's just create a new flow for this one. And we'll name this flow, let's just name it IVR Basics. And once again, we're going to start from scratch. Uh, there is a IVR tutorial um, that you could start with, but since you're watching this video, we may as well just build it from scratch. Um, it'll be slightly different, but at least you'll understand the steps. So for starters, um, Let's go ahead and connect the phone number to this flow. So when a call comes in, we're going to use studio flow and let's switch it over to IVR basics. And now let's go back over to Studio. So now we have our trigger. The first thing that we're going to do is use a gather input on call so that we can give a greeting. Um, now, naturally, you can either say a message or play a message. If you play a message, you'll have to upload the audio file either to your own server or um, you can use the um, the Twilio assets so Twilio assets um, will allow you to upload your your media get the URL and then you'll just chuck that in here but uh, for this example we're just going to use all voice to text so I'll say Okay, so let's save this. The language, let's use United States. The voice, let's make it a woman's voice. Loop one time, let's make it. And we're going to stop gathering after the press of one digit. And so now the way that we connect this trigger. So first of all, before I connect this, let me go ahead and demonstrate how the, uh, what's going to happen when we call. So as you can see, as soon as we call, it immediately disconnected and that's because there's nothing to to occur after the trigger so we're going to take this incoming call and connect it and I'm going to rename this from gather one to greeting and 
And now let's call back. Greetings. Please press 1 to hear a list of our services. Press 2 to leave a message or press 3 to be transferred to a representative. And so after the greeting, when I press the key, it hung up. And that's because similar to um, what happened before I connected this widget, there's nothing connected for what happens after a button is pressed. So the next step is to build upon this. Now we have three options. User pressed keys, user said something, no input. Let's start off with user pressed keys. So what we want to happen is when the user, based on a key that the user pressed, we want something different to happen. So we're going to use the split based on widget. So now split based on, um, and I'm going to rename this to menu options. <clears throat> and the variable to test will be the digits. And so now what we have to do, um, so if no condition matches, we can set something to happen. But first, let's go ahead and set our conditions. So number one, set condition. I'm going to rename this to just simply number one. So as you can see, the number one pops up next to the no conditions. So we, we, we get the, uh, the number one. So that's going to match if the number one is pressed. Now let's add a new condition. So this one will be two. Let's rename this one. And the third. Okay, so now we have our three options here. Let's go ahead and get some widgets. So the first option here, list of services. So that's going to be a play, a say play widget. And then Let's get a record voicemail widget and a connect call to widget. And we'll connect each one of these. So if the number one is dialed, and if the number two is dialed, if the number three is dialed. So now we have each one of these. And so you can see our flow starting to come together. So for the save play, uh, let's say. Let's keep consistent with the same voice settings. Record a voicemail, connect call to. Uh,
Okay. And then let's have a let's have a thank you. So if the audio completes, say thank you. And if the recording completes, say thank you. Okay. And then let's run it back to the menus to start over with the options again. All right, so let's try this now. Greetings, please press 1 to hear a list of our services. One-on-one -on -one consultation and training, custom programming services, and online tutorials. Thank you. Greetings, please press 1 so to hear a list of our services. Press 2 to leave a message or press 3 to be transferred to a representative. This is a test. I'm testing the recording feature. Thank you. Greetings. Please press 1 to hear a list of our services. Press 2 to leave a message or press 3 to be transferred to a representative. And then now here's the transfer. And so it's it's transferring now. Um, but that number probably doesn't work so I'm, I'm just going to disconnect it myself so there you have it you see how fast and easy that was to make you know a really professional um, flow uh, simple yet you know effective flow now there are lots lots more that can be done and so I'm going to continue making tutorials our flows will get increasingly more complex I'm going to cover uh, the set variable I'm going to cover the uh, HTTP requests and the twimmel and also messaging and so forth so keep checking back